Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. We're going to have a look at whether for the next 10 to 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 7th of August. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe I'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for August. I shall get all of that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video release date was our 6M UK weather forecast. We've also released GMA Friday, and we've got the East Shed 42 day forecast coming up for you um, this evening. The reason on that is being released this evening rather than tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, as it would normally be. So, is that tomorrow morning we've got the second season one roundup coming up for uh, for uh, the autumn. So, we're getting all long range models together for the second time this season tomorrow morning. And so, that means that the EC42 day is shunted back to uh, Friday. It all makes sense as the videos uh, come along. So please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And hope having a lovely, lovely Friday um, as well. Right, let's start off in the tropical Atlantic. We've got three disturbance areas. Look at all these. So first of all, we've got this one just here, which is disturbance free. It's in the southwestern Caribbean Sea. And has a 10% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days and in the next seven days. Don't think we have to worry too much about that one. Famous last words. We've also got disturbance two. In southwestern Florida, uh, that's a disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms. It has a 0% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days and a 0% chance in the next seven days. Again, don't have to worry too much about that one. This one here is more significant, though. This is disturbance one. Currently, with just a 20% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days, but a 60% chance of cyclone formation. In the, next eight, in the next seven days. So uh, they're saying with this in the central tropical Atlantic, shower and thunderstorm activity associated with a tropical wave located about midway between the Cabo Verde Islands of the Lesser Antilles has increased since yesterday. Environmental conditions are expected to be favourable for additional gradual development of this system during the next few days, and the tropical depression could form early next week while the system is generally west northwest was over the tropical Atlantic. That may become a player for our our weather next week, not as a tropical storm or hurricane, but as an area of low pressure. More about that later on in the video, but it is going to be one to watch that. Right, central temperature ticked up a little bit yesterday, so we're currently sitting at 16.0, 16 degrees, which is bang on the 61 tonight. Only average provisional to yesterday to the 27th of uh, July. So we're hovering around 16 degrees, and we'll probably do so until month's end now. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off about average up there. We're actually going to go a bit cooler than average into the weekend. Bit of a tick up early next week. That's as an area of low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. And then through the first week to 10 days of August, we've talked about this in the videos lately. Uh, first week to 10 days of August, looking rather cooler than average, if anything. They're actually quite significantly below average with the upper uh, temperatures. This time of year, you can offset that with the strength of the sun. So when the sun's out, probably won't feel too bad. But if it's cloudy and showery, then um, those cool upper air temperatures will probably feel <laughs> quite dismal, actually, if it's uh, cloudy or wet. Uh, as we go towards the middle part of August, possibly signs of a bit of a warm-up with the upper air temperatures there, although, of course, uh, that's a long way off precipitation-wise. So, showering through the weekend, wet through the early part of next week, about the first week of August, looking quite wet, possibly a drying trend appearing there, through the second week of August and up to the middle part of the month. So we might have a bit of a warming and a little bit of a drying trend. It's a long way off, though. It's at the extended range of the uh, GFS and its ensembles. So, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously there's a lot of uncertainty uh, about that. Reliably, in the next week to 10 days, it looks generally quite cool and unsettled. Temperature anomalies from the 28th of July to 5th of August, below average in most parts of the country. Precipitation anomalies from the 28th of July to 5th of August, they're coming out average or wetter an average, especially through the central swathe of the country. This is from that from Earth. No school dot net shows we've got quite a big area of low pressure sitting to the west of the UK and Ireland. That's bringing quite strong winds in from off the Atlantic, with quite a strong Atlantic flow anyway. And uh, that low will actually be sinking down across the country as we go into the weekend. 
So, going through chart data, starting off with your latest UK Met Euro run. This is a big night on Monday. New area of low pressure coming in on the Atlantic. That will be bringing unsettled weather with it. Early next week, therefore, looking cool and showery. That takes us up to the end of next week, next Friday. And uh, still in those northwesterly winds, still looking quite cool and showery then. I can't again bring the low pressure in from off the Atlantic on Monday and Tuesday. Cool shower conditions, another area of low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. That comes through a bit of a dark board, actually, that low bringing showers and do long spells of rain with it, and then we pull in, pull in these cool and showery northwesterly winds once again. Notice this low just here. That could be the um, remnants of the tropical storm and or hurricane they're talking about at the start of the video moving into the North Atlantic. Now, have a look what the GFS is doing with that. Starting off on Monday, though, with low pressure in off the Atlantic, bringing showers and or long spells of rain. So early next week, to the middle of next week, we'll cool and showery winds in from that northwesterly direction. Now, there's that low pressure I'm talking about, uh, the remains of some sort of tropical-type development. Now, that becomes quite a significant area of low in the North Atlantic as we get to the weekend of the 5th and the 6th of August, and gradually starts to meander our way. Initially, it begins to pull up a bit of a ridge from the Azores High, but that is very quickly pushed away as this low pressure comes in. So, you actually get a direct tip from that potential subtropical uh, area of low pressure and uh, whatnot. It's just an area of low pressure when it gets to us, but it, it uh, could be a tropical storm or something um, through the uh, weekend and into the beginning of next week. So, um, that's day 10. Anyway, 7th of August, low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Very unsettled with that and further low pressure to come. Actually, we, again, we have a go at building up some higher pressure here around the 11th of August, but that very quick gets pushed away as the next low comes in. Gets us to the 13th of August day with GFS output and still looking unsettled up to that point. Uh, GFS 6 said, um, once more on Monday, looking cool and showery. Early next week, again, cool showery conditions and uh, winds in for the door. The second half of next week will bring cool weather with it, cool temperatures um, and whatnot. Then we get this major area of low pressure coming in over the weekend of the 5th and the 6th of August. That brings proper wet and windy weather with it. Beyond that, again, just stays rather cool and showering, really, all the way up to the end of GFS 6 Zebra, which again gets us to the 13th of August, no sign of any sustained dry or settled weather. If you're enjoying the video, please, you like, share, and subscribe. As you show me, show me what you're doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this at all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Worthies. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Around 15 subscribers now. One five is all we need to get ourselves to uh, 16 5k so if you could give us a sub it'll be absolutely amazing thank you so much everybody for doing that gm again with low pressure in from off the atlantic on monday i've been unsettled start to next week another low pressure bell on a more southerly track around the middle part of next week could bring some very wet weather into the south then beyond that into those cool and showery northwest winds with this major area of low pressure developing out to our west day nine and ten brings that low pressure right in across the country that's over the weekend of the fifth sixth to monday 7th of august very unsettled first week to august unfortunately and then the east at wf once more with low pressure Bring unsettled weather through the early part of next week. Cool and showery conditions. Another significant low around the middle of next week. Brings heavy rain, perhaps particularly focused on England and Wales. Cool and showery beyond that into the weekend of the 5th and the 6th of August. Again, in comes this big area of low pressure. Bit of a dark board with that one. Bringing heavy showers and or long spells of rain. Ending up in a cool and showering northwesterly to northerly wind bear on Monday the 7th of August. They're all much of a much as those charts and model runs and they're all looking really unsettled too. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometro.com. Plenty of showers to come in the next few days and then early next week we bring longer spells of rain in from off the Atlantic as well, particularly affecting the central sway of the country. Um, then, middle of next week, in comes some very wet weather focused on England and Wales this time. Very wet with that one. Uh, then we go into, uh, again, northerly winds, cool shower conditions, end of next week. More heavy rain piling in off the Atlantic for the weekend, 5th 6th of August. 
up to date tan, looking cool and showering. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets to the 7th of August. 15 members of the ECM ensemble with a big area of low pressure right over the top of the country 10. Again, low pressure over the top of the country 9. Low pressure, that's a little bit further south, but still over the top of the country 6. With low pressure from the Atlantic into the UK. Another 6 with low pressure like to our east and 5 with low pressure just to the northwest of Scotland. They're all dominated by low pressure at day 10. The only difference with all of them is like the very exact placement centre of below, but they're basically whether that low pressure is slightly to the north, east, west, south, um, they're basically very, very unsettled there at day 10 with all of those options. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets to the 12th of August. 14 members of the ECM on signs with low pressure right over top of the country and to our east. Still very unsettled and quite cool with that uh, as well. 11 with some higher pressure just reaching up from France in towards the south, low pressure towards the north east. I've tried to turn a bit drier in more southern parts of the country. 10, perhaps with uh, slacker pressure coming in off the Atlantic, but probably still low. Uh, 8 with low pressure right over top of the country and another 8 building up some high pressure there. So again, you know, we've talked about this in videos in terms of the more extended range uh, in the second week of August up to mid month. There is a possibility that high pressure might take over in the second week of August and bring something drier and warmer with it. However, it, again, it just if Spots, babies, possibilities, options on the table, and uh, whatnot. Reliably, as I keep saying, within the next week, 10 days, it is a very unsettled outlook. Share SB2 finally for August. This would be 700 millibar height anomaly today from the CFS for August, placing a trough of below average heights over the country and to our east just here as well. In combination with a ridge in the Atlantic, it looks rather unsettled, rather cool and showery winds in from the northwest. With that, the temperature anomaly for August is around to a little bit below average and the precipitation anomaly uh, is not too far from normal, or there's no signal, but I would suspect quite a wet, I would suspect a wet average month would be like if we do stick up that trough of low pressure over top of the country. All in all, the, uh, the scenario continues to look pretty poor for August as it has been for uh, July. Maybe we'll get a change later on in the month. Jeremy Friday was suggesting that, like, the third week of August into the second half of the month might see a switch to something drier and warmer. It's a possibility, but no more than that at the moment. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning out. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos? And don't get to tell friends about that as well, because we thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. As I say, around 15, one five subscribers will get us to uh, 16.5k. Rumble grind to 17k ultimately. So if you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. And I am quite behind with the comments, but I will go through them. I'll set aside a couple of hours over the next day or two and I'll go through all of the comments and uh, I won't be able to respond to all of them, reply to all of them but I will give you a like or a heart or something. Um, right, just so it can be up over the weekend then at Gaz Webbers. Don't forget we've got the EC42 uh, day this evening so we haven't done with uh, today's content. Actually one more video still to go but I'll tell you it's coming up over the weekend. Tomorrow I'll have a 6am UK weather forecast. We're going to have the second autumn 2023 seasonal roundup. We get forecast at 10 to 14 day and then on Sunday we've got the uh, 6am forecast again. We'll have the 6th, I think we're up to update number 6, uh, with the autumn update. It's going to be a QBO special with uh, that one. Uh, Gaz will be Sunday Roundup coming up on Sunday as well. I'm going to be live streaming at 6pm with some long range. So I shall see you live at 6 on Sunday. You enjoy the rest of your Friday afternoon, though. And for this one, that's all now. And thanks for watching.